Good evening, everyone. We'll go ahead and get started singing. Let's, we're going to sing uh, Joy to the World. It's number 117. And then in the 12th edition, it's number 110. 117 and 110. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Oh, 
<clears throat> Next, we'd like to sing Jesus, Lover of My Soul, which is number 120, and then in the 12th edition, it's number 114. Number 120 and 114. Jesus, love of my soul, let me to thy bosom fly. While the nearer waters roll, Oh, my Savior, 
Banks will sing, I love to tell the story, which is number 125. And then the 12th edition is <clears throat> number 120. 125 and 120. <clears throat> I'd love to tell the story.
see we've got a request for the evening prayer, but I'm not sure if we have time for that, Brother Eddie. Uh, you want to leave that at the end, or? No, go ahead. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. <clears throat> All right. So it's in the 12th edition. It's uh, an evening prayer. It's number 610. <clears throat> If I have one bed in his Thank you very much, Brother Kevin. We're thankful for you and your family. We pray the Lord's continued blessing upon you. Uh, we're thankful for the <clears throat> singing of those hymns. Uh, we hope and trust that uh, everyone has prayed for our time together. Uh, we're thankful for this opportunity. We're thankful for the, I don't know where it is where uh, you're living, but we got a, about an inch of rain today, so we're thankful for that. Um, we hope and trust that... Uh, the Lord would bless our meeting tonight. It's good to see all the members that uh, compose the body of Meta Creek. We are good to, we're so thankful to see the uh, friendship and fellowship of our uh, brothers and sisters in Christ as they come to worship with us. Uh, we're just th so thankful for you and we appreciate you so much. Uh, the Lord certainly has uh, blessed us in this time world. Uh, with many natural things. He's blessed us with a recognition uh, and a knowledge of many spiritual things. And uh, we're so thankful that uh, from time to time that we are able to uh, release our minds from these natural things and to think on uh, spiritual things, to think on eternal things, uh, to think on things that uh, God has prepared for us and is waiting for every one of his dear saints. But we're thankful for the kingdom of God, which uh, Jesus has set up when in his ministry here on this earth, that we are able to express those things. And the Lord has blessed us uh, that we're able just to uh, take hold of eternal life while we live here in this flesh. So praise God for that. Uh, we hope and trust that uh, that would be an encouragement to each one of the Lord's little children that is um, hungering and thirsting after righteousness. As we come together, we come with uh, uh, minds of prayer, of thanksgiving, of supplication, uh, asking the Lord to uh, bless us here in this meeting, as well as those that aren't able to be with us, that are sick and afflicted. Uh, we'd like to try to mention some. We want to remember uh, the country in which we live, the good old USA. We want to uh, be in prayer uh, for our country um, as we have joined here tonight, the sickness and disease, the trouble, the unrest. Pray the Lord's continued uh, blessings that he would look down with a double portion of his grace and mercy upon the country of, as, as well as us. We're, I thank God every day that we're able to meet as we're able to meet uh, without fear of persecution here in this flesh. So thank God for that. We want to remember our leaders. Thank God for them. Um, 
pray the Lord's blessing that he would lead God and direct them. Um, as this uh, vaccine is being distributed throughout this world, hope and trust the Lord would bless it, uh, that it would uh, have its desired effect. We want to be in prayer for that. Uh, as well as all the sicknesses, we're thankful that we know a great physician. Uh, when I mention the great physician, uh, I suppose out in the world, somebody might be thinking of their personal uh, primary care doctor or something like that. Uh, but I know that when I mention and, and say the phrase, the great uh, physician, that everyone's minds just, just soars right to the Lord Jesus Christ because he is the healer of all things. We know that he can speak it and it would be done. Uh, what power he has. We want to remember Brother Melvin and Sister Ruth. Brother Melvin is back in the hospital. Uh, he went uh, the other day and uh, we were visiting with him yesterday and it looked like he might be in there till uh, Saturday. The doctor, Ruth said, the doctor said he'd been there till probably at least Saturday. Um, he was in good spirits. He was getting some fluids taken away. Uh, so we hope and trust that all would be well with that. So remember uh, Brother Melvin and Sister Ruth. Uh, Brother Mike Udi, uh, Brother Gene, and Sister Jewel, Sister Virginia, Sister Wanda. Uh, we want to remember each one of them. <clears throat> uh, rem remember uh, Brother Chase, and Anita and Curtis's grandson as he's serving in Japan, uh, as well as Anita's father, Clyde. We pray the Lord's continued strength with him. Uh, we want to continue to remember uh, Brother Jerry Van Horry and Sister Sandy Carlock and their recovery. We ask the Lord uh, to strengthen them. Uh, we have on here to remember Sister Lydia and her upcoming delivery. Is everything going okay with that, Brother Tim? I see you got uh, some of the family there. Yeah, she's doing good. Okay. When, when is when is the day? April 14th. April 14th. Okay. All righty. All right. We want to be in prayer for that family. So uh, Sister Lydia and all of her family, pray the Lord would bless her delivery and all would be well. Um, Remember Elder Cato, uh, uh, I know his knees. We want to be in prayer that uh, Lord would bless him in that regards, as well as I have not heard any update, uh, Elder Oots or Elder Nichols. Do you know anything about his older sister? The last time we met, I believe he mentioned that she was in the hospital with COVID. Is there any update on that? I talked with Brother Stan today. Uh, he said that uh, sister, uh, sister Thana, his sister, uh, is out of the hospital. Uh, she seemed to you know, handle the COVID really much better than he anticipated and uh, and seems to be doing better. Of course, she's got her other health issues that she still has to deal with, but <coughs> just very thankful that things went as well. And Brother Stan's knees are, are better when he's sitting. Uh, he mm -hmm. still has some pain, but uh, there's been, he sounded much better today than he did uh, when we talked to him this weekend. So uh, thankful for the improvement. Oh, praise God. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. We want to remember uh, our aging elders amongst us, uh, Elder um, Smith and Elder uh, E.W. Hooven, Elder Alston, Elder Curley, uh, Elder Helms. Uh, not sure about Elder Tom Robinson, but we hope and trust that he's been healed, healing up and with his COVID condition. Uh, Brother Ned saw him on. Uh, we want to remember him in prayer. Pray the Lord's continued blessing with him. Uh, we have uh, several that we'd like to mention from No Creek, uh, Sister Mary Catherine and her daughter Regina be in special prayer for them. Uh, Regina has been diagnosed with uh, cancer, so we pray the Lord's blessing there. Uh, Sister Merlin, uh, my mom, uh, Beverly, pray the Lord's blessing upon them. Sister Bennett, uh, she fell the, this past week, uh, didn't break any bones. Uh, on, she fell face first, uh, but uh, she got scratched up, had to get some stitches. Uh, but like I said, uh, it could have been worse. So we want to remember Sister Bennett. Pray the Lord's blessing with her. Um, the Duns, uh, Sister Eaton, or the Eatons, uh, Brother Jonathan, uh, Sister uh, Edna, I think I mentioned her. Her daughter-in-law, Angie, has had some uh, surgery concerning an aneurysm that she's had. They, I think they tried to put a coil in it, uh, and it has, uh, I think it's, supposed to be helping, but uh, she had a lot of discomfort when she was uh, discharged from the hospital, but she's at home. So we want to remember Angie in prayer, uh, ask the Lord's blessing in her recovery. Um, Brother Logan and Sister Libby in their engagement, we ask the Lord that he would bless them, uh, lead, guide, and direct them in their upcoming wedding. 
Um, is there anyone else anyone would like to call out? Brother Eddie, Crooked Creek yeah. Church lost two members. They had a funeral Monday and a funeral Tuesday for two members at Crooked Creek. So okay, that church and the family. Remember Crooked Creek uh, Church and the families that's uh, lost loved ones. Pray the Lord's continued blessing and uplifting of them. <laughs> Hello, Henry. <laughs> he was getting kind of close there. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Anyone else? Okay. No one else being mentioned. We'd like to uh, have a hymn as a way of opening. Have prayer. We're going to ask Elder Nichols if he would uh, preach for us this evening. We're uh, thankful for his friendship and fellowship. We pray the Lord's uh, blessing upon him. Uh, and be in prayer for uh, Elder Nichols as the song is sung and as we go to the Lord in prayer. Uh, Brother Kevin, what number do you have? Brother Eddie, we're going to sing Blessed Be the Tie That Binds. It's number 325 and it's 309 in the 12th edition. 325 and 309. <clears throat> Blessed be the tie that binds. Kevin, let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, dear Lord, we bow our heads once again. Lord, we have, we know we have so much to be thankful for. We're thankful for this life that thou hast given us here on this earth. We're thankful for thy providential care that thou has watched over us each day of our life. We're thankful, Lord, that it is well with each one that has joined with us here this evening. We're thankful, Lord, for thy spirit. Dear Lord, we pray that thy spirit would move amongst thy people that's gathered here this evening, that we would feel thy presence with us, that we would feel thy presence inside of us, that we would see the spirit working in Elder Nichols as he comes to preach for us. We pray, Lord, that I would just take him and shape him, uh, give him words to deliver, loose his lips, open up his mind and his heart, that he would bring forth a, a message to the Lord's people 
that would glorify God and lift us up, rebuke us, correct us, all things that we would stand in need of. We pray, dear Lord, that thou would bless us, that we would receive the word of the messenger this evening, that our ears would be especially attentive and our hearts receiving. We just pray, Lord, that thy spirit would caress us, that we would rejoice in what we're able to hear this evening. God bless each one that has prayed. Lord, there's many that are sick and cast down. Be with those that have recently lost loved ones. We pray, Lord, a special blessing on Brother Melvin and Sister Ruth. We ask that they would feel thy presence with them, that thou would comfort them and strengthen them. Watch over Sister Ruth as she travels to and from the hospital. Be with Brother Melvin, Lord, is our prayer, as well as Brother Mike. Um, each one that has been mentioned, dear Lord, and those that have not been mentioned, we know that thou knowest the need of everyone. Many times as we come into prayer time, many uh, would just soon does not have their names called out or whatever the case may be, but we're so thankful, dear Lord, that thou knowest our heart and knowest our mind. Thou knowest what we stand in need of before we know what we stand in need of, and we're thankful that we have a God that can provide all things for us at all times. Lord, and we hope our hearts and minds would be turned to spiritual things. We're thankful for our Savior, for our King, for our friend, Jesus Christ, that died for us at the cross at Calvary. We're thankful for his cleansing blood. We're thankful that he has freed us from all condemnation. We're thankful that there has been a righteous judgment, and that righteous judgment was accomplished at the cross at Calvary. We're thankful for the singing of these hymns, our faithful song leaders that just lead us in them. We're thankful that we're able to, to participate in that. Be with us as we go through the remainder of this service, dear Lord, is our prayer. These things we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Brother John, we pray the Lord's blessings upon you this evening. Thank you, Brother Eddie. Uh, I, would do it. I would ask an interest in your continued interest in your prayers. Um, and I thank you, Brother Eddie, for that sweet and humble prayer. Um, you know, the singing and the prayers that we've heard thus far uh, this night, that we're grateful to the Lord our God for his loving kindness and mercy towards us. You know, as a people of God, um, we're so blessed. Um, and to be able to come before you this, this evening and I'm reminded of that song that uh, Brother Tim was, and his family were singing uh, about telling that story. I mean, uh, what, what, I mean what, <laughs> what greater joy comes to our hearts than to be able to tell that sweet, sweet story. And I don't care how many times it's told uh, we as God's children are blessed to rejoice in it uh, because we've been blessed, uh, dear ones, to indeed to be given that measure of understanding of what the Lord Jesus has indeed done for us. And uh, you know, I was reading Ephesians' letter uh, this, this, this evening, um, and it was so humbling, humbling to, uh, to, uh, to realize uh, what God in his infinite wisdom um, prepared for us uh, as a poor, um, <laughs> poor wretched sinners uh, that we are uh, to, to, be, to be touched by that understanding, brethren, that many of God's children don't have, but to be touched with that understanding, brethren, of what the Lord has done for us. Uh, as unworthy uh, as we are in and of ourselves, brethren, to be able to be blessed with that understanding. And I want to go, I uh, actually want to go to the Roman letter tonight, uh, Lord being our, um, being our helper. Um, 
actually, I don't want him to help me. I just want him to just to kind of take over. <laughs> Uh, that, that would that would do well by my by me just to have him just kind of take over this evening and uh, let all be to his praise and to his glory that he would just simply have her not only his own way with this unworthy one but with all of us uh, that it would be to his praise and glory. I want to go to the fifth chapter of that Roman letter. Um, I know we as God's children have we've heard it. Uh, we've come under the hearing of that particular. Uh, uh, chapter of scripture uh, many times, but I don't care how many times we hear it. Uh, it comes a time that we simply just need to hear it again. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm mindful of uh, when John sent his disciples uh, to, to the Lord asking if he was the one or whether they sh he should look for another. And, and Jesus told uh, John's disciples to go and tell John again. And we as God's children, brethren, um, we, we, it, we, not only do we, love to, do we love to hear it, but we need to hear it. And that love that we have within us to hear it, oh, what a gift that is, a gift, a very a sweet and precious gift that we get from the Lord our God. And uh, starting there at verse 1, uh, Romans 5, if you have your Bibles with you. And it reads, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Being justified by faith. And that faith, dear ones, that we're justified by is the faith of the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, because Jesus was faithful. He was faithful to the Father even to the death on the cross. And that faith, brethren, that we have been justified, the faith of his darling son, the Lord Jesus Christ, is also that same faith that we as God's children, uh, that is the faith that we live by as we sojourn in this time world. We don't live by, uh, uh, by our own faith, brethren, but we live by that faith indeed that has been imputed to us by the Lord Jesus Christ. That, that measure of faith that we are given as God's children, brethren, oh, what a precious gift that is. And we know we, we, we sway back and forth in, 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 our, uh, uh, in our ability, brethren, just to kind of hold on to, to that faith that uh, we have been given. We, we, we have those seasons of uncertainty. We have those seasons of doubt in our lives. And sometimes, brethren, our faith is touched to such a degree, brethren, uh, that sometimes we indeed we begin to wonder whether we are indeed uh, his his own, and that 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 season of doubt that we have, brethren, uh, it's okay if we have that doubt, but the but is but is also uh, better that we have this understanding as to whose uh, faith it is that we live by and who it is who has redeemed us unto the Father and whom it is, uh, brethren, that it has promised us that he will be with us in every circumstance of life. And that faith, brethren, the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ, brethren, when, 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 the, when the, uh, the writer writes here that in that faith uh, of the Lord of his son, in that finished work of his son, brethren, that we as God's children we're blessed to have that enmity that existed. We are blessed to have that removed and that we have peace with God. And brethren, that peace that we have with God is a peace, brethren, that we uh, live by because it's with that peace, brethren, that we are able and blessed to have peace in this time world and peace, brethren, with one another. You know, without that peace, without that love, brethren, there would be no peace in this world. There would be no peace amongst God's children. That that peace, brethren, that we think that we that we hear about is the same peace that Jesus tells us in the Gospel of John. That my peace I give unto you, not as the world give I give, but Jesus gives us that peace, brethren. That indeed passes all understanding. We we can't uh, we can't naturally get a grip on it. Uh, spiritually speaking, brethren, we're blessed to rejoice in it. Um, but we know that even spiritually, brethren, we can't get a hold on it in and of ourselves, but it's simply a gift that we're given by, uh, from Almighty God. That peace indeed, that pass all understanding, that, that peace that we have with our Heavenly Father enables us, brethren, to have peace 
one with another, not just simply with God's children, brethren, because we don't know who they are. We don't know who our neighbor is. Yeah. Well, I'm reminded of that, of that, uh, 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 that, that one that got to, was on the road to Jericho and, 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 got, and got robbed and beat. And, uh, and, the, and the one who came to Jesus, he wanted to, he wanted to test Jesus. And he wanted to know, well, who is my neighbor? Well, brethren, uh, Jesus gave him the, that uh, little parable there. And, uh, and, 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 and he was blessed indeed to see that one indeed who was, who had compassion. Uh, we as God's children, brethren, uh, with the love that we have been given, we're blessed to have compassion. Uh, compassion, brethren, is a gift. Uh, is a gift indeed from almighty God. Compassion that people were not in and of ourselves. Uh, brethren, that old nature of our, it has no compassion. That old nature of our simply desires what it desires, whatever it happens to be. It doesn't care who's in the way. It doesn't care what's in the way. All his chief desire is indeed to satisfy that old flesh of ours. But praise be to God, brethren, that God has given us the earnestness of the spirit, the spirit that abides in us, brethren, that oh, that, that 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 new creature in us, brethren, that would never uh, uh, indeed is, uh, uh, transgress against our heavenly Father. That, that 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 earnestness, brethren, that earnestness of the Spirit that we're given uh, witnesses indeed with the Spirit of Almighty God, that we're heirs and joint heirs of the kingdom of God. And the writer goes on to say, after he says that we have peace with God, and that peace indeed comes through the Lord Jesus Christ. He says, by whom also we have access by faith into his grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. You see, brethren, in, in Jesus, brethren, we're given access to the Lord our God. We have, brethren, in Jesus, brethren, we as God's children, we don't need a mediator other than Jesus. Uh, we don't need an earthly mediator. We don't need to, uh, e even though, brethren, we indeed should indeed pray one for another. But, but that mediator that we have is the Lord Jesus Christ, who sitteth at the right hand of the Father. So we have, brethren, through the Lord Jesus Christ, we have access to that throne of grace. We have access, brethren, to, uh, to indeed to humbly and boldly, uh, boldly in the sense we come in the name of Jesus. We have access, brethren, to come to the Father uh, humbly uh, and, 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 and understanding, brethren, that Jesus has declared that anything that we would ask of the Father in his name, that the Father would do. Now, brethren, understand that he says in his name. Uh, that, that doesn't mean everything that this sinner's nature may desire. Uh, but it, it means, brethren, that when we're blessed to be in the spirit, when we bless indeed to utter those things where scripture tells us that, you know, all times, brethren, when we come before the throne, we don't know how we ought to pray. But the spirit indeed intercedes for us and utters those things, brethren, that we're unable to utter ourselves. You know, so, brethren, not only have we been given faith, not only have we been given access but brethren, we begin the spirit. We, we you know, I, I, I've had, I remember being at a funeral once and this one says that uh, her sister, before she passed away, she wanted to know how to pray. You know, and I, and I, and I thought about that because her, you know, uh, her sister hadn't been one who uh, had uh, necessarily attended church or, or seemingly, seemingly during her life uh, had a desire to go to church, but yet, <laughs> At that moment in her life, her sister asked me, she says, I want to learn how to pray. Uh, you know, what What do we think, brother, was uh, happened to that dear one in her in the in the in the uh, uh, in the last hours of her life on this on this on this and on this earth? Don't we see the evidence there, brother, the spirit moving in that uh, the spirit indeed giving her that unction, that desire and that want to indeed to be in communion and to be in fellowship uh, with our Heavenly Father. Oh, that is our natural, brethren. Uh, that, that's a working, indeed, of the Spirit of Almighty God in our lives. And he goes on, the writer goes on, he says, and says, uh, not only do we have access by faith, and understanding, brethren, that is a faith, indeed, uh, that we live by. That is a faith, indeed, that we stand in. 
That is a liberty indeed that we stand in, brethren. That when we think about that finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ, not only do we have that hope of heaven, uh, brethren, but we have a liberty that's unlike any other liberty that we ever have. That liberty, brethren, to go and be before the Lord our God, not in our own righteousness, but in the righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ. And in his finished work, not our own finished work, brethren, but that work which he has done in our stead gives us access, gives us liberty, gives us, brethren, all that we need in this time world and, 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 and enables us, brethren, to have that fellowship and that communion with the Lord our God. And oh, what a joy it brings to this unworthy one's heart. You know, brethren, it's, a, it's humbling to, to, to realize, brethren, that as, as, as weak and lowly as we are, to realize, brethren, that we have access to the creator of this world. You know, we, we, I mean, he, he who has created all that we can see, uh, and brethren, you know, uh, as much as this unworthy one has traveled all around the world, uh, I haven't even begun to see uh, all of his creation. And neither will you know, any of us on this side of glory. But, but to, to just to imagine, brethren, that he who created uh, the heavens and the stars and the, and the earth and, 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 and when we look at the vastness of the mountain and the oceans and how wide and how wide and, 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 and enormous all of that is, that he who had created all of that, brethren, has given us access to him. That's direct access to him through the Lord Jesus Christ. And what a privilege we have been given, brethren. And if we begin to even one small iota begin to understand what all that means to us as God's children. Oh, how can we not rejoice in the goodness of the Lord? How could we not praise his holy and righteous name? And again, to use Brother Gary's dad's uh, words, how could we not just say, praise the Lord, hallelujah, because of what he, not only because of what he has already done, but what he continues to do for each of his children each and every day of our lives, in each, every, in each and every moment. Uh, there is not a moment, brethren, that our Lord is not present with us. Uh, it, we, may, we may feel cold and distant, but there is not a moment uh, in our existence, brethren, that he's not with us. He's ever with us, brethren. Wherever we go, wherever we might be, he is always with us. And brethren, if we haven't experienced it, I know we have, but we didn't, and we didn't recognize who it was that picked us up along the road, it was him. If we didn't, if we don't, if we didn't recognize who enabled us to, uh, to journey safely uh, to and fro, it was him. You know, that the providential care of the Lord our God exceeds uh, this natural uh, 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 brain of ours. You know, we, we, I don't care how smart we, we think that we might be, uh, these brains just cannot attain to the knowledge and an understanding of, of, of the Lord our God. And, you know, it, it got, scripture tells us that his, his ways and his thoughts are so high that we cannot attain unto them. I don't care, I don't care what mountain you get on. I don't care uh, what, what aircraft or what jet you get on. You can go to the moon. You, you, can, you can fly all the way to the moon as far as it is. And it does not give you any, any closer to an understanding and to the ways and, and, and the thoughts of the Lord our God. They're just so high, brethren, that we cannot attain unto them. And he says, he says that uh, not only do we uh, stand in that grace, but rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Well, what a glorious, you know, we sing that song, brethren, what a day that will be. When my Jesus, I shall see. When we, that hope that he has given us, brethren, in the midst of, you know, you know, in the midst of, Brother Eddie was praying for this nation, you know, um, in the midst of all the turmoil, um, in the midst of all the confusion in the world, uh, sometimes we as God's children um, uh, are, are so focused on that that we don't see the glory of God. Uh, sometimes our, 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 our minds, are, we can be like little Martha. Uh, we can be cumbered about with so, so many circumstances in this world uh, that our eyes 
uh, uh, fail to, uh, uh, to be focused on he who has loved us with an everlasting love. He, brethren, who uh, uh, re <laughs> required, required no payment uh, of ourselves, but gave his own darling son to make that payment in our stead. Uh, and his son, brethren, who was obedient to the father, who knew what was ahead, who yes, in the garden says, if it be possible, this cup may pass. He knew that it would not be his will, but that the father's will would be done. You see, brethren, that covenant, that covenant could not be broken. That covenant that was entered into by the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, even before time was, could not be broken. Nor will it ever be broken, you, you see, because not only did the Son die for, for all of those that God gave to him, but he also told the Father that on that last day, I will raise them all up to thy praise and to thy glory, that neither one will be lost, and neither one will be snatched out of my hands, that all, and that, and that brethren, is to the glory of, the Father, of our Heavenly Father, the great I am. And what a joy it is, brethren, to be blessed with that small understanding that we have of what Jesus has done and continues to do for us each and every day of our lives. And he goes on, he says, not only so, but we glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. You know, brethren, let's be real for a second. When we think about tribulation, you know, if I would say, well, how many of you, how many of God's children, well, I could just say, how many of you here in the Zoom meeting enjoy tribulations? And we, we know that it can be uncomfortable at times. We know that trials come in our lives. I mean, scripture tells us that man born of a woman is but a few days but full of troubles. So it's not like it's not like it's a surprise to us as God's children that we would have tribulations and trials in this world. Oh, but brethren, let, let us not uh, flee away from the things of God in hopes of avoiding tribulation. You see, brethren, because we as God's children, sometimes we just want to feel comfortable. Uh, we, we, we want to feel comfortable in our, in our uh, uh, natural skin, so to speak, uh, in our natural relationships. We just want to feel comfortable. Uh, we, we don't want to uh, um, uh, um, unnecessarily uh, offend anybody uh, uh, by the truth. You know, but, but understand, brethren, that the truth offend them, it is not of us. We're, we're not the offenders. The truth is the truth. And, and brethren, you know, when, we, uh, when, when, the, when, the, when the apostle wrote in, in one of the epistles that, uh, that he glory, uh, um, and, and, God, and, God, and God forbid that he would be ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because it is the power of God. You know, sometimes we as God's children, have, we, get, we, get, we get in this false sense of a uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, pride. Uh, we, want, uh, uh, we want our words to mean something. Uh, we want our words to be effectual. You know, we said, we we're, were singing that song, I love to tell the story. Uh, but are we mindful as to who we tell that story to because we don't want to be offended or we don't want to offend? Oh, are we are, are we obedient to the spirit uh, that when the spirit moves us to tell that story uh, that we tell it, uh, regardless of where we are, regardless of whether who it, regardless of who it might be? Why? Because it's the power of God. <laughs> the power is not in us. Uh, and, and, you know, if we if we were to tell the story and somebody spit in your face, praise be to God. Praise be to God that I, this unworthy one, would be blessed to suffer for the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, brethren, that's what it's all about. Uh, it's, 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 not a, it's not about us getting our feelings hurt. 
uh, it's not about us being ashamed uh, because we, we feel like that some, somehow somebody's gonna, not going to like us anymore. Uh, God forbid, brethren, that, 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 our, that our actions are based on this old fleshly nature of ours because this old fleshly nature will always lead us down the wrong path. Uh, but brethren, but rather we uh, we trust and we hope to, indeed to uh, to walk in the Spirit, uh, letting Jesus be our God, uh, let Him lift us up and carry us through, brethren. Then don't worry about uh, what it is you're going to say or when you're going to say it, because the Spirit will move in you, and He and the Spirit will utter those things, brethren, that the Lord would have you to say. So you see, brethren, we are simply just servants of the Most High. And brethren, it's such a privilege to be a servant. Sometimes, you know, it's old nature. We don't want to serve anybody. We don't. We don't want anybody to tell us what to do. You know, my wife tells me so. You don't like. You don't like people to tell you what to do. I mean, I mean, we all. I mean, you like brother, brother, any brother Gary is smiling. I know your wife so probably told you that too. But but we're we're all prone, brethren, to be in that nature. But brethren, don't let that nature transfer over to our relationship with the Lord our God. We're his servants. Let's not try to twist it away or the other way around. We're bond servants of the Most High. You know, brethren, we, we and whatever he bids, we do. And when all is said and done, brethren, all we can say and do and say is that we are but yet but unprofitable servants because all we have done is that which the master has moved us to do. It's not like we have within ourselves, brethren, to do good things. All good things come up by the hand of the Father of lights. And when he moves us, brethren, praise be to God. Praise be to God when he moves in our lives, brethren. And when those tribulations come uh, come our way, let us, let us be mindful as to what the writer is telling us here uh, in Romans 5. He says here that uh, tribulation worketh patience. And then it, how many of you, I, I know I know we all have at one time or another, in some circumstance of life said, wow, I wish I had more patience. Whether it would be a, with a particular person, a particular thing, or a, a boss, a child, it doesn't matter what it is. How many of you we have said that? Man, I wish I had more patience. Do you really want more patience? You know, some of us think that we can, some, some of us think that patience is like the tooth fairy. Okay, before I go to bed, I'm going to put I'm going to put this wish under my pillow, and then when I wake up, I will be a patient person. Well, brethren, <laughs> patience doesn't work that way. Well, what do what do we read here? It says, "Glory in tribulations, also knowing that tribulations work in patience, and patience experience, and experience hope." You know, brethren. You know, it's, it's, it's funny and sad how we can be. You know, we're suffered to have a trial today. And we're blessed to see the Lord deliver us through that trial. Well, you know, tomorrow, the adversary may try to test you in a different way. And there we are whining and complaining murmuring because, well, I went through that yesterday and here today is, I got to go through this today. You know, brethren, you know, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can, uh, um, <laughs> I, I, I put it to you simply. Uh, Brother John knows this happens because it happens to me. Uh, you know, if I, I would be real to you, and and I think that most of, most of our preaching brother would tell you that uh, um, it's through experience, uh, it's through our own experiences sometimes that uh, scripture comes is made to come true, and that and through that experience that we read here that patience works, like it, patience uh, um, uh, that through that through patience we get experience and through experience hope. So what, in other words, if I experience the Lord delivering me today to a trial, um, that experience should tell me that tomorrow I should have that hope that he's going to deliver me tomorrow. I mean, that's, I mean, that's, 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 that, but, and, 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 
and 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 the, the, the joy and and that, and that hope, brethren, is that it's real. And we, when we look at this particular uh, writing here, there's a formula to that that worketh every time. When we as God's children are simply blessed to rest and to trust in the Lord. You see, because in that, in that, in that tribulation, if we're like, like uh, um, um, James declared, he says that we should joy in tribulations and trials. But he also says, let patience have its perfect work. In other words, brethren, work, you know, we, when we, when we, uh, uh, part of that working out uh, what God has worked within us, brethren, is that hope that we have that when we're in the midst of that storm, we're in the midst of that trial, that through experience, we have an understanding. And through God's word, we have an understanding that deliverance will come that salvation is of the Lord and that the Lord will deliver and that we as God's children, brethren, we ought not to be murmuring and complaining as if the Lord has somehow changed. The Lord does not change. He was the same yesterday. He's the same today and he will be the same forevermore. And that, and that, and, and he who has indeed began that work in you, he will complete that work, brethren. But in the meantime, as that, as that work is going on, brethren, let us joy in those tribulations, knowing indeed, brethren, that the Lord, uh, while, while he suffers that to be, that the Lord has and always will be our, our deliverer because salvation is and always will be of the Lord. He is the deliverer. We can't deliver ourselves. And sometimes we get under that false under, uh, that false impression that somehow something that this sinner is going to do is going to deliver him from this. <laughs> no, if it do, if I do anything, I'm going to mess it up. I mean, if, I, if I'll either mess it up or I get deeper into it. But salvation, brethren, salvation of the Lord is what can I say? It's flawless. God doesn't make mistakes. When He delivers. He delivers, and he delivers by his hand. And he goes on, he says, and let hope make if not a shame, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. In other words, brethren, that hope that we have, brethren, is not like the hope that the world thinks of. In other words, brethren, that hope, is not grounded in earthly things, is grounded in the Lord. That hope that we have been given, brethren, he says here, let, um, and hope make it not a shame, brethren, because, you know, we're, 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 we are servants of the Most High. It is a privilege to suffer for his name's sake. Let us never be ashamed, brethren, of he who had redeemed us unto God. You know, brethren, you know, when we, when we think about uh, our family, friends, and, and loved ones, and, you know, sometimes we're, we're kind of uh, reluctant, I say, I would say to um, be bold. Uh, um, you know, we, we don't want our families to be mad with us. Uh, or, you know, I don't, well, you know, well, I'm not gonna speak to John anymore because all, He's one of those Jesus freaks. And every time I say something to him, he's talking about Jesus. Well, I'm not talking about, talk, I'm talking, I'm not talking about talking about Jesus. I'm talking about walking with Jesus, you see, because there's a difference. Uh, when you walk with Jesus, that's, that, 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 you know, word, words, word, word, words are, 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 are can be, uh, um, uh, what, what can I say? Uh, words can not always be descriptive of what we show. You know, see, I can talk about Jesus, but not be like, but not being doing the things that Jesus would have me to do. And what kind of a picture does that paint? So brethren, when we, when we, when we talk about that hope and, and hope making us not ashamed, brethren, we need to remember, brethren, that as servants of the Most High and as ambassadors of the Lord Jesus Christ, that we, brethren, have a duty to that our conversation in this world 
should be indeed reminiscent, reflective of who we are as a people of God. You know, as a minister, if I were, you know, if I were in my uh, in my office, for instance, uh, where people don't know that I'm a minister, but I mean, they probably like, they probably think that something's wrong with John, but they don't know exactly what it is. Um, so, if I were to be, if I were to act contrary to who I am, uh, be it in my workplace, uh, be it in a family gathering, yeah, doesn't matter where it is, it could be in Walmart, don't really matter. But if I'm act, if I was to act contrary to who I am. Uh, brethren, that 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 uh, speaks volumes uh, 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 of, uh, of, what, of what people or what kind of a conversation that we have in this world. You know, our 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 our, uh, our task is to need to be uh, not only ambassadors, but but to be the salt of the earth, uh, and we're to be lights. Uh, we're to be that light that shines, brethren, in the midst of this dark, perverse world. That that some little lamb, brethren, because that some little lamb could be your neighbor. Uh, that 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 some little lamb that you don't know could indeed be your neighbor, and that some little lamb would be blessed to see that light in you. That that lamb might glorify the Father, which giveth that light. Uh, not that that neighbor is going to lift you up, or not that that neighbor is going to praise you, but that's not what we're looking for. But that that neighbor indeed would glorify the Father for that work which He sees within you. And that would be to the glory of God. You see, brethren, we rejoice in the glory of God. We don't try to uh, take away. Uh, we don't try to heap anything upon ourselves because God will not show his, share his glory with anybody. That includes me. <laughs> that, includes, that includes all of us, brethren. You know, you know, we're, we're, you know, I, I use this expression sometimes, and uh, I don't want to be rambling here, but I use this expression sometimes as to that um, we sometimes look at God like the IRS. In other words, in the, with the IRS, we fill out this tax form. We're always trying to look for some kind of exemption so that we get more back or, we, or that we give less, whatever it might be, whatever the case might be. God is not the IRS. What he says is it applies to all of us. Uh, there's an exemption. When God declared that there's none righteous, no, not one, uh, he, that, there was not, a, there, there wasn't a, 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 there's no room there for any of us to write ourselves an exemption. Well, it doesn't apply to me. Well, yes, it does. It applies to all of his creation. That is why he said there's none righteous, no, not one. There's none that understand it. There's none that seek uh, after the Lord our God. So if we're seeking, if we're blessed to understand, brethren, that is a work from above. It has nothing to do with our work. It has to do with the work that God has wrought within your breast. And he goes on, he says, he says, uh, for when we were yet without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Brethren, not only were we without strength, not only were we without hope, we didn't even desire hope. We lacked an understanding. We were like indeed the Gentiles who were without God and without any hope in this world. You see, brethren, hope cometh with understanding. And those that are in darkness have no understanding. When we have been, when we've been brought out of God's, uh, out of that darkness into God's marvelous light. Uh, we're, we're, we're blessed to have understanding for the first time in our natural existence. You see, brethren, when you're, when you're in dark, as scripture would say, how deep is that darkness? That darkness is as deep as death itself because you're dead indeed to the things of God. When we're quickened by the spirit of Almighty God, that darkness is replaced by light, brethren, and with that light comes understanding. You see, because when we when we look at a uh, 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 scripture and say, you know, God died for those who were, uh, I mean, Jesus Christ died for the ungodly. That's who we were. <laughs> we, we were that ungodly that he died for. And he has given us that hope, brethren, that hope. And, the, and he has indeed removed uh, uh, that enmity uh, that existed between God and God. 
and God's children. So not only do we have hope, we have fellowship uh, with the Lord our God. We have fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And we have fellowship one with another as God's children as we sojourn in this time world. He says, or he goes on, he says, for scarcely uh, for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He, brethren, who was, who was without sin, became sin for you and I and all those that the Father gave to him in a covenant. When we think about that, Becoming sin for you and I. You know, scripture tells us, brethren, that the wages of sin is death. Not multiple, but wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. We think about where we naturally ought to be and compare it to where we are. How can we not but humble ourselves before the Lord our God in praise and in thanksgiving for that which he has bestowed upon us? How can we not? I mean, you know, we, we have been given much, brethren. And yes, scripture says that we see through a glass darkly. But that's okay. We see. That's better than not seeing at all. That which we have been blessed to see, we rejoice in. That which Jesus has done for us, we rejoice in. He who came from heaven's pure world, not for himself, but for a people that God purposed to love, even before time was. It is he, brethren, who has become, who became sin for us, who went to Calvary's cross, brethren, in our stead, to receive uh, upon himself, brethren, our sin debt. You know, when I think about this own sinner's debt, at least that, at least that small fraction that I might be aware of, uh, because I'm sure that is greater than I can even imagine. Uh, my own sin debt. But when you think about the, the multitude of those that the father gave to the son, uh, that, this, that scripture describes as being as numerous as the stars in the heaven and the sands on the seashore, a man that, a number that no man can number. When we think about the sin debt that he took upon his own body uh, in, our, in our stead, brethren. Oh, how can we not uh, 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 rejoice, uh, brethren, in that which we have been delivered from. Uh, we have been delivered from the wrath of Almighty God. We have been delivered from eternal separation from the Lord our God. We have been given that blessed hope, brethren, that when we're absent from this flesh, we're in the presence of our Father. We have been given that hope, brethren, that one sweet day, brethren, that uh, we as God's children, that uh, yes, that this when, 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 that, when that, in a natural sense that what that once we did that we await indeed that final salvation when we're delivered out of this cold clay tabernacle into the presence of the great I am and yes we will rejoice and we will be glad because we'll be we'll be blessed to see our precious Savior and Scripture says that oh we don't know how we uh, we we don't know how we might appear but we know that we be like Him we we <laughs> we will know that we know Him because we shall be likened to him. And this old body, brethren, that, that's going to be sown in uh, corruption uh, will be raised incorruptible. Uh, we, uh, brethren, who, uh, uh, are <laughs> we, we, brethren, who have been uh, so blessed in this tiny world will be able to, like our brethren who have gone home to be with the Lord, will be able to, for the first time, to be prayed, to be, to praise him as we ought. You know, you know, as much as we try, as much as we gather, as much as we uh, lift up our voices in, 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 in song 
and in thanksgiving. As much as we do all of those things, Scripture tells us that even when we do good, evil is always present. This old clay tabernacle of ours is always there. Always, and it will be a hindrance to us, brethren, until we occupy it no more. And that we're in his presence. And that we're blessed to rejoice. Brother Ed, I'm going to go ahead and give way. Um, the, 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 uh, uh, I, I probably could ramble on for another hour, but we, we're going to give way. Uh, and, and we thank God for the opportunity and pray that God has indeed blessed it to be a benefit uh, to his dear children. Blessed be his name. Thank you, Brother John. We appreciate that message. We, uh, I like the way you started off. We love to hear it. We need to hear it. So uh, we're thankful for that. We're thankful for the inspired writings of the book of Hebrews as well, or the book of Romans, as well as all scripture. Uh, so, <clears throat> uh, praise God uh, for our faithful uh, Savior, um, that we uh, have peace with God and that we have a sense of that peace that we have with God, that we have been reconciled once forevermore to God. So, praise God for that. Uh, we're thankful once again uh, for that. And we hope and trust that it would uh, lift us up as we go through uh, this time. Um, we'd like to have a hymn as a way of uh, uh, closing out our service this evening. If there's any that would uh, like to have a home here at Meadow Creek Church, you have the opportunity to make it, let it be known. Uh, and uh, we'll just go from there. So, Brother Kevin, what number do you have? Brother Eddie, we're going to sing Amazing Grace. It's number yeah. four. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind. 
Amen. What amazing grace. What amazing grace. Um, being, um, try to remember those that uh, we need to pray for. Uh, pray for each other. Pray for yourselves. Pray for our upcoming meetings. Uh, pray that the Lord's people will uh, continue to be strengthened to stand for the truth. Uh, to be that shining light that's on a hill uh, that cannot be hid. Uh, we pray the Lord would uh, continue to bless us in that regards. Does anyone else have announcements that they would like to make? Uh, Brother Eddie, you, you Brother have our continued invite. Uh, we'll be online again this weekend coming. All right, Brother John, God bless you. Anyone else? All right, Elder Oots, if you would, please close us with a prayer. It's good to see you this evening. It's a blessing to be here. Truly, Amen. Truly enjoyed the meeting. Let us look to the Lord. Merciful and gracious Heavenly Father, we just approach thee tonight with thanksgiving in our hearts, O oh Lord, to be allowed the sweet privilege of just sitting together with our dear children tonight, what we feel to be heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We thank thee so much, O oh Lord, for the sound of the gospel, for the truth that was delivered in power and demonstration of the Spirit tonight, for the blessing our dear brother with liberty and giving him uh, the ability to preach clearly and, and in such a wonderful way. We thank thee, O oh Lord, for that. We thank thee for the truth of thy word that we have is, uh, that we can go to, O oh Lord. And we just ask thy continued blessing upon all of thy ministry, that those that stand before us might rightly divide the word of truth and preach Christ and him crucified, adding nothing uh, that would lessen the, the wonderful truth as it is in Christ. And dear Lord, just help us to uh, be thankful for what thou has given us. Uh, we thank thee, O oh Lord, for this sweet privilege tonight to be able to hear the hymn sung, to be able to pray with our brethren, to, to have a love for these dear ones uh, at this dear sweet church. We ask thy continued blessing upon each and every one of them. And, all those that have been mentioned tonight, O oh Lord, just be with them in all the circumstances. We're so thankful that there are the Lord from everlasting to everlasting and unchanging and all powerful that we look to tonight and realize that we are in thy watch care, that thou art our, our great, the great shepherd of the sheep, that we, we, are, uh, we are in thy hand, dear Lord, and just help us to find that peace and that rest that, that comes in trusting in thee. Again, dear Lord, just continue to be with us as we leave this place. Just go with us, O Lord, that we might, we might walk in a way to honor and glorify and praise Thee uh, for Thy glory and for Thy honor and for Thy praise. And dear Lord, again, we just thank Thee for all that Thou has blessed us with. We, we know that we're so undeserving, but Thou has dealt with us not on what we deserve, but according to Thy love and Thy mercy that's been shown to us through and by our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. We ask these things with the forgiveness of our sins in his precious name, the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Elder Oots. Uh, we certainly are thankful for everybody joining us tonight. We uh, praise God, praise God tonight. So I uh, hope you all have a good week and we look forward to seeing you again. It's been, it's been a blessing, blessing to be here and to hear the good news this week. Amen. All that's going on. God bless each and every one of you. We love you all. Love you too. Thank you, Elder Nichols. God bless you. God bless you, Brother Eddie. Um, it's been our privilege to be here with you tonight, and we just praise God for it. Amen. Um, praise God for all of you, and praise God for this little forum that we can get, that we can gather. Um, you know, I do, I, did tell, I do tell my wife that sometimes I wish I could stick on without a without video and without my names so just to hear <laughs> just, just to hear the preaching hear the singing uh, but pr praise be to god and let god be let the glory be to him good to see you again you too brother ned love you brother love you brother ned love, love you and brother gary is he gone brother Ed? he's, he's still there he's still there i have uh, i have this uh iPad that don't show everybody's picture. There they are. Yeah. <laughs> Brother Eddie, Brother Gary. 
And everybody, God bless you. God bless you, brother. Good night, brother Ned. Enjoy it, Mr. John. To you. Oh, thank you, sister. God bless Saturday, you. I hope. Uh, good Lord with it. All right, brother Ned. God bless you, brother. Elder Eddie. Yes. Elder um, Perry Lathrop is going to be with Pleasant uh, Lawyer Springs on Saturday. Um, anybody has a mind to be with us, we'd love to have you. Thank you for letting me know. Appreciate that. Uh, Brother Eddie. Yes, sir. That's Don Blevins here. I'm uh, awful glad to be here with you. I enjoyed it. I appreciate Good to see you. you in. And uh, Brother John, I enjoyed your preaching tonight. Lord is good to you, brother. Yeah. Praise God. Brother Gary, you, brother. Praise God. Prayer. Good to be with you, brother. And love all of you. Thanks. For, thanks love you too, brother Don. Love you, brother Don. Take care now. Take good to see you, brother Don. Thank you. Brother Kevin, enjoy that singing, brother. Amen. Yeah. The whole the whole family just enjoyed yeah. listening. Of course, I'm I'm singing away here, but <laughs> it's, good, it's good listening to you. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate yeah. it. We certainly enjoy trying. Maybe one day we can get the video where everybody can you can see everyone singing. They kind of want to back away out of video a lot of times. So. Well, they're, they're a blessing to my heart. I can tell you that. And Thank you, brother. God bless you. All of you. You all have a good evening. Love you all. Hey, brother John. Brother John, I surely enjoyed that preach. Love you, brother. God bless. You. Love you, brother. Bye bye. Good night, all. Good night, brother Steve, sister Mary. Night. Good night, man. Good night. 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 Good Somebody passed out. Yeah. Oh, the little sweetheart. She she didn't have a nap today. That's what happened with my girls. Miriam didn't have a nap today either, and so I switched to my phone while I got them in bed. Hope y'all have a good night. It's good to Thank see you. Thank you, y'all too. Love you. Love you. Hope to see you soon. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye, Henry.